Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to install SCCM client during autopilot. In this demo I will use a hybrid AD join scenario but you can use the same process and deploy the SCCM client during Azure AD join as well. The first step in the process is to package the SCCM client. So for that we will go to GitHub and download this packaging tool Intune WinApp util.exe which I have already done in the C drive in this folder and then you will have to copy the client files for that you will need to go to program files configuration manager and the client folder here we will copy the content and i have pasted them in this client files folder now i have my client files here and my intune packaging tool here then we will run a command to package it so i have opened the command prompt as administrator and i went in c inet package tool location here I will run the exe, it will ask me for the source folder which is C client files. The setup file would be ccm setup.exe and the output folder is C colon backslash client packaged. And I will specify no here. So I am creating a win32 package here which will be created in this client package folder and then I will upload it to Intune. So it has been created. Now I will upload it to Intune. Here I am in Intune and I will go to apps, all apps and click on add here and select Windows app Win32. And here I will select that package which we created. It was in C drive. I have provided a name, description and publisher here. We will go next. Here we will have to specify the installation command. The installation command would be ccm setup.exe space ccm hostname which would be the hostname for management point. Our site code and no CRL check and no service. This no service parameter is important because what I found out that if we do not specify it, the detection rule doesn't work. The uninstall command would be ccm setup slash uninstall install behavior system here i will specify 6232 bit and minimum windows 10 1607 under detection rule we will specify a manual rule and i will use a file based rule and the path would be c windows backslash ccm and i will look for the presence of ccm setup dot exe at this location next no dependencies and then i will assign it to an ad group this is my hybrid uh, auto test group where my autopilot machine is part of windows 10 which will join the hybrid is already i will select it click on next and create it so here is the app which i already created and i already targeted it to my Azure ready group for hybrid machine and now we will run the autopilot and see whether this works or not autopilot process has started now we will wait for the setup to complete and hopefully the SCCM client should install during the setup so the autopilot is uh, running now it's on the ESP page and it's uh, trying to install the application on the machine I ran appwiz.cpl and I could see that Microsoft Intune management extension has been installed so if you run any win32 app or PowerShell script from Intune this is a prerequisite which gets installed Intune management extension so this is installed and now SCCM client installation should be starting any point so if i check in c windows i see ccm folder ccm cache and ccm setup so that means the installation is also going on so so the installation is completed and let us and it's also showing us uh, app one of one installed and now it will go to the desktop so the sccm client has been installed and we have got the desktop so this is how we install sccm client during autopilot 
In this case, I deployed it to a hybrid AD joint machine. Uh, you could also deploy it to a cloud Azure AD joint machine. I used uh, my internal management points, uh, but if you have cloud management gateway, you could specify that URL instead of my internal management point, and that should work. I hope you like this video. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.